I'm live in Fremont right now on Broad Street. I'm going to show you exactly what is on the street. What is entangled in these down power lines used to be a trampoline. The tree is still down in the middle of the road, and people here on the street are working to remove that. And the roof is completely missing from that home still where the family members are working to get everything that they can out. We brought you live coverage here earlier this morning on First News where we saw semi-trailers and box trucks blown over on Water Street. Trees filled the roadways and debris from buildings were tangled in downed power lines. The solar farm near Fremont Middle School also sustained damage. The damage that we found spans all the way from here in Fremont to at least Snow Lake. Around 645 last night, Kosciuszko County received the first severe thunderstorm warning of this event for damaging wind gusts over 60 miles per hour. Elkhart recorded a 60 miles per hour wind gust and golf ball sized hail was being reported in some cases. About an hour later, the focus turned towards northeast Indiana with reports coming in from Huntington County of 8 to 10 inch healthy tree limbs down. In some cases, roads were being blocked. Power companies are out here working now. They do say it will be quite a while before power is back up. And the Fremont community will be working here to restore what has been torn down from this storm. Live in Fremont, Brian Boswell, Wayne 15 News. Brian, thank you.